Not again. Hey. Are we doing something or what? Oh, right. Apologies. Just, I feel I am so close. I know this. I assume you're talking about the primer. Oh, it didn't work. Yes, I can't help it. So many misfires, yet inch by inch, mark my words, the solution is staring me right in the face. In the face, I say. You need some fresh air. Let's go out. No, I need to work on this. I mean, obviously, I am sorry. We were supposed to, I know. But not today. I feel like these are the crucial phases. Every bout of inspiration, every thought counts. I can't allow risks, I can't. So, I imagine that today I should just leave you be. Okay. Alright, take your time. One thing before you go. Huh? Is something the matter? After you leave, could you drop by Master Haksun's store and bring me some Fjanrut? I'd do it myself, but I'd probably be extremely busy and I need to test the primer. Sure? Thank you. I'm glad you understand. Now, where was I? You proceed to do some shopping for real, but the man appears to be completely absorbed by his work. Doing that should have unlocked the fine potions, concoctions and baits. I wonder what the fine bait is going to be. I want to check that out before we head out on an adventure. We do have the uh, quest for uh, winter to do today. And we have like 10 days left on the main quest. Not sure how that is going to work out. Probably something like um, a last fight with the um, forces of that... Um, what was his name again? I forget his name. The Rightful King, as it were. Let's see. Barbed bait. Slightly increases the chance of finding items. I'm pretty sure I found all the cool items so far. When I did my... Lots of lots of... Um, uh, fishing. I picked up like 10 or something of those epic trinkets. So I sold those for a bunch of money. Let's see here. Wow wow sauce? What? Spawns a larger flame of... or patch of flames that deals damage to any character. Living lightning. Impassable wall. Big mojo bag! Jinx. That's pretty cool. A shielding draught. That's pretty cool as well. Evasion. Peerless might. Pretty cool stuff. But I'm curious about the masterwork ones. We're only two, right? Two uh, steps away from that, from real. Ah, uh, yeah. And this is kind of... Is it good? I mean, I'm not sure. But let's go another quest for real, I think. I think uh, he's gonna give us a quest. He's not here. An hour later. Uh. Alright, that does it. Faulty. No, no, that's not right either. This isn't working! Why isn't it working? Always more tests to run. More pressure. More. The hell is going on in real? Hmm. Hmm. I, I'm so close. I I just need a little more time. Look, this primer business is seriously getting out of hand. No, you don't understand. I can't replicate it. I can't replicate the ingredient. If only... Huh? A densifier. Well documented in old text, now rare due to obtuseness. I feel I know it is the key, but I don't have it. Substitutions required, but none work. The formula simply falls apart without it. Really, a densifier. 
Just like that. One ingredient and it'll work? Yes. No. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. Well, just slow down and explain. Clavliscus plants. They are a delicate breed, tree-like in appearances, but twig lighting in mannerisms. Extremely erratic growth patterns, too. Likely due to being saturated with ambient magic. They are hard to prod into cooperation, but the results are always worth it. The oil that can be extracted from their nuts... <laughs> ...was once thought to be the fabled cure-all substance. It's not naturally, but its more industrial usage remains popular. Shame it is practically unattainable outside of certain areas of Minway, and the gnomes don't bother enough to trade it. No idea why. Okay. Where can I find some? Hmm. If I recall correctly, they are thought to originate from the Runflashar, a valley on the borders of Minway. Any other leads? A description, maybe? Well, I might have not been entirely truthful before. There's another reason why the plant used to be stamped out incessantly. More mundane, greatly more mundane. What is it? It exudes unpleasant smells. What? In blunt parlance, it stinks like a dumpster mixed with an unwashed armpit of a dead hobo. Ew, how lovely. Yes, yes, can't have it all. At least it makes tracking the plants easier. Well, one way or another, if it helps, I'll help you out. All science. Thank you! Trust me on this, it is for the good science! Think of the science! Of the future of alchemy! Alright, meanwhile, try to deal ba dial back on the insanity, okay? Alright, but the experiments! What did I say? Good enough. Okay, got it. You arrive at the valley of Ron Flashar. With the valley's bells shielded from sandstorms by primordial tectonic walls, the presence of a nearby oasis has managed to turn Ron Flashar into a lush subterranean garden. Patches of vivid greenery stretch as far as your eye can see, braiding into glorious effulgent carpets. A pretty serene place overall, if you don't count the buzzing hordes of exotic insects. Though you know that the Claviscus has an awful all-empowering smell, finding a sample in this blithe chaos might prove problematic. Take a sniff. You're pretty sure it's nowhere near. Look around. It appears that the valley is split roughly into three sub-areas, each distinctive enough to warrant a look. To your west in the distance, you spot what looks like a half-collapsed stretch. To your north, the colorful carpet extends unchallenged, flat and proud, meandering a bit before disappearing behind a colossal rock fragment. To your east, the somewhat round dome of a wall marks an abrupt, vastly overgrown hollow, a place seemingly filled with an even more obnoxious in insect chatter. I mean, the insects might be drawn to the smell, so go into the hollow. Your sense of smell quickly overtakes your sight, and your senses soon become assaulted by a dreadful stench of unspeakable nasal horrors given organic form. It appears you're on the right track. To your surprise, the hollow turns out to be filled with bugs of various shapes and sizes. The creepy crawly seems to have created a hodgepodge nesting ground here, one tightly clustered around some kind of object in the center of the hollow. From your safe and pleasantly bug-free position, you can't discern what exactly the object might be. To do so, however, would require to waddle through all the squirm- all the squishy swarms. Burn it all. Deciding that you've seen more than enough chitinous creatures for a lifetime, you quickly whip up a fire and toss it at the nearest bundle of insects. Within seconds, the lush undergrowth is set ablaze. Spreading without control as the skittering tide tries to escape annihilation. Your bold movement is a resounding success. Too resounding, perhaps, as explosions begin to consume the oily deposits of nearby plants, flinging hungry wildlife all over the highly flammable valley. Oops. On the bright side, however, the object is within your reach now. Within the growing inferno, you spot an unassuming plant with pur purple-tinged petals, its smell amplified by the flames, to what can be best described as a dumpster mixed with an unwashed armpit of a dead hobo. That's... 
That's exactly it! Jumping around the growing flames, you harvest the smelly plants, all while trying not to think about what will happen to your belongings on contact. And, well, the burning valley. Done! Let's report in. Oh, he has arrived! My, my, how disappointing. Did they just run with tails between their legs? Karen, you son of a bee! Such a lousy way to welcome their rightful king. We're here! Indeed you are! And I see you brought your fabulous family along. My ladies? Oh gods, you're even more punchable than I thought. Agreed. <laughs> you may want to watch your pretty little mouth, miss. Don't talk to Gwen like that! Familial solidarity. Great, cute, and all that. Now hush. Well, did you prepare the castle as I asked you to? Nope. We've decided to stay. Thanks. K, K, K. Do we really have to go through this? I mean, I thought as much. That's why I brought some friends along, see? There's more waiting outside. But you know why? Why are you making this harder than it should be? This is mine. All this is mine. Bold words, considering that despite your best knowledge, you have not lifted a finger to restore it. You come for glory and titles, preying on the work that was done for... No, despite you. Harrogate scum! You gorge upon the scraps of a life that was never meant to be yours! You throw all these big words, all these nonsensical platitudes about virtuous conduct, and yet you're so alone. Where are all those people you seemingly champion? Where are the ones I've seemingly wronged? Well, Kay? They're here with me. Oh, dang! What's this? A little rebellion against your master? Insolent rabble! They're not rabble. They're my subjects. My people. My friends. Would you just get off your high horse already? <laughs> That's precious. Lecturing me. Really? Foolish curs! Dim-witted, slobbering peasants! Can't you see that you're backing a pretender? A puppet with no fire, no nobility in his veins? But if that is your wish, then so be it. Hear me and hear me well. Any Cretan who sides with him will get crushed by the might of House Lauren. No, they won't. I had a feeling what? about you, Grandpa. Who the hell are you? I am Desideratus of House Lauren, founder of the dynasty. I should probably also say that I'm your late grandfather, but you, Sonny, are no Lauren. So leave this place at once. Grandpa! Uh, th this is insane! You aren't even related! They are nothing but frauds and charlatans who usurp your legacy! But we proved ourselves to Grandpa! That's all that matters! You are backing a titleless loafer! I'm backing a man with a heart! And mind your goddamn tone! That's no way to speak to your elders, hmm? Yeah, yeah, what can I say? You owe me. Thank you. Enough! I will not let this cabaret go undisturbed any longer! So you fancy yourself nobles? Rulers? Kings? You think you know better what being a Lauren entails? I've spent years kissing the rears of foreign courts, dreaming of this moment. You dirt-eating knaves will not take this away from me! You and your pathetic supporters will fill the gallows! You hear me? The gallows! Karen of House Lauren, I do not wish you harm, but as long as I'm here, I will not let you lay a finger on these people. Ha! You want to be king? Then come, usurper! Take it from me! Draw! I'm not sure how that's how it works, but let's do it. Alright, let's see what we have here. Defeat Karen Lauren, obviously. All deployed must survive land of finishing striker with the same character. Alright. Let's see who we're gonna go with here. Now he's got a lot of um backup. He's got pretty much every race or uh, empire that we found. Probably mercenaries then. But we definitely want K in here. Remember that guy has like a swap ability. So I wanna get K away from that. Maybe get, like, someone who's very tanky. 
Griffith or uh, Lauren or Levant. I definitely want Alice. Let's get Levant up in there. And something like that. Now that guy has a charge ability that does more damage the farther away it is. So we want to use the fountain to our advantage against that. The uh, elf has a uh, axe throw ability. The um, knight has like a stun and a shield bash. That guy has shield ability and a spear jab. This guy though, he's new, right? The rust ability. Anticipate. Interesting. Also, he's got a lot of initiative. But let's go. Let's do this. Alright, K. I would like you to use one of our good fishes. Destroy all shields. That could be very good against the dwarf later on. What else we got? I picked up a bunch of Brazilian Sonics. Let's use one of these. Actually, how much shields do th does this use? Let's give that to Levant. That's more than a fish. Okay. Standard? Oh, so he's like a, um, a dark mirror of K. He's gonna have the similar abilities. With a banner and pro probably a buff. The heat is on. Maybe it's like focused on... Weaken and Sundered. So it's basically a um, opposite of, K of K's ability. A uh, offensive banner. That is a debuffer. And his, his uh, other skill is probably going to be like a... Uh, a buff. Offensive buff. Yeah. Interesting. Alright. I would like to take this guy down, but he's got this parry. Will parry... Free activation upon parrying a skill. Ignores both damaging and negative effects. So that could be pretty, um... Bad. Let's instead use that fish. On Levant. Let's buff him up. Although the mage does have the shield stripping ability. Not a fan of that. And then you... Maybe move on up. And do one of these on these two. To get you some shields. And get them blinded. Now let's see what he does. He didn't do anything, that's good. And then you want to move over here. I would like you to actually wait. Because I want that guy to move on up. Maybe then I can do a Holy Diver. Do not presume too much. If I go there... Could maybe... Or we could do a buff. Hmm... Now, let's do a Holy Diver. I want to avoid that guy because he's gonna parry it regardless. So let's stun these two. And there's the knight. The, the turtle knight. Alright, K. Is this... No, it's gonna wait until his turn comes again. Alright, how about I do one of these... On you. Strike now! Done. Empowered and fleet. <laughs> okay, that did a bit of damage. But luckily, you're now not uh, parrying again. So let's do one of these. Because this is a good position. And I'm gonna blitz and do that again. Down goes the knight. I'm actually gonna do that a third time. Hopefully this is good enough. Yeah! Down goes the two of you. Owned. And then we're actually just gonna spend our time buffing here. Whoa! 
and wait to see what happens. I'm thinking the mage might be um, teleporting someone. No, he did something else. Oh, there it is. Oh, he failed because Levant is so big he couldn't fit in that space. That was a great miscalculation on his part. Let's see, there's no spot there, so I can get there. Or I can get over here and buff. I'm gonna buff. Holy Nova. Here comes the Turtle Knight. Slowly getting closer. Then we are going for you. Mark him. Strike now. For House Lauren. Empowered and fleet on the mage. Oh, so that is a buff, okay. Let's get now. Because he's a big fatty, this should bounce on himself. And let's do a blitz. And do it again. And I think I like it. He's almost dead. Let's get, let's get spoopy and take care of him. Chill, Bill. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Let them come to us. I'm actually gonna back off. And maybe even do one of these. So the, um... Nah, there's not enough moves for him. He's not gonna be able to charge. But now... Does anyone need a buff? Nah, let's go for... Karen. He's got 10,000 HP! What? <laughs> maybe we should whittle down his friends first and... Baleful Bolts, not a problem. This might be a problem though, he's, he's just out of range. Let's give him a fire shield instead. Something wicked this and Theo, you're gonna break that, his shield, in the next turn though. Aw, oh, dang it, you moved. I'm out. Well, Levant can break his shield, if Levant can get his big butt over there. Now, let's do this. Both get rid of his shield and buff my friends. Are you fleet yet? <laughs> you should be. What? How can you charge from there? That's not even a straight line! There's a fountain in the way! That was rude. Let's mark the mage. Wait, is he gaining a bunch of health or armor as well? What the heck? Do I want to go offensive? Let's go on the offensive. Firefly! What? Rude! There we go. Fire them. I'm just getting and then... Started. Inferno! <laughs> Down it goes the Turtle Knight. Then we're gonna focus on the mage. That is a lot of damage. Ow, away goes my shields! But, away goes your health. And you, as well. You go away. Okay, are you in range for a shooty time? Yes, you are. Oh, he, like, loses shields when his enemies or his friends die. Interesting. Ouch. Let's get... You... Let's see what we have here. Something good. Silence, mark... Destroy all shields. Let it blow. Goodbye. 
And wait. Let's get spooky. Let's get spooky. Wait, what? There we go. Minus Perry. Can you get over there? I don't think this is as friendly fire, right? We're gonna find out. Resist stunned. Let's go. Now let's see what you got. Show me what you got. And then. What was that? What did you just do? Grand strike. Oh jeez! The heat is on! He just did his uh, 40 points! He's got that too! What a rude dude. Blinded, sundered, slowed, and weakened for one turn. That does sound good. Electric eel. Let's see how your resistances look. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Resistances. 55 physical. All right, resistance to silence and stun, death touch. We're gonna have to get Levant away from there. That's unfortunate. Mark, mark. All righty then. How many um, debuffs do you have? Two. I don't think that's enough. I wonder if I could do this one. One, two, three, four! And Blitz! Dark Harvest. 2,000! That was pretty good. And then... Can you get over there? Hopefully he's gonna go for someone else, but Levant, because Levant is gonna die otherwise. That's an acceptable risk, though. Let's give Levant more shields, just in case. So that son of a bee is getting a thousand shields each turn. Not cool, bro. Not cool. But, kaboom. Yes, my friend. Uh, you can stay over there if you want. Sorta. Zero to thirty? What? Oh, uh, that's after it punches through his shields. Or not. Let's mm, do that again. I wish I had more like summoning stuff. That would be good. Let's use another Imperial Pufferfish. And you're gonna move. And then K is gonna weaken this guy. Hopefully. Because he's doing a lot of damage. Resist weakened. Well then, I'm not done yet. let's mark him. Strike now. Come on, baby, light my fire. How much health does he have? Seven thousand. Yeah, do it. And you're actually gonna run away. Yes, my friend. Work him down. In hindsight, probably a bad idea to bring uh, Levant. Ouch. Death touch. What was that? Rude is what it was. What's the range on this again? Uh, not good enough. Do I want to try a Sunder or a Stun, I mean? If it works, it's great. Yes, it worked. Alright, Kay. 
Let's do a inspiring banner. Flame on! Get stunned, you son of a bee. And I'm gonna use another one of those. If I have one of those. Destroy all shields. Let it flow. Something wicked. Then Theo! All the things ran out. Dang it. Well then. Let's reapply some with the Imperial Pufferfish. Luckily, my supply is quite high there. Dark Harvest. <laughs> A fine blow. Do not presume too much. And then over here. No. It's about the same, but I'll do it. And then you move. Here we go. Alrighty, Kay. He's almost dead. Let's mark him again. I might say almost 3,000 HP is nothing to laugh at. And move away because he did have some sort of AoE, didn't he? Ouchies. Let's get dangerous. Does he have? No, he doesn't. No fire amplification on him. Let's sort that out. And then kaboom! All right, Theo. Lands him. I march. Hmm. Let's see what one of these do. 135% weapon damage. Or I could do this again. But does it go out in one turn from where my position is, is what I'm wondering. We'll find out. I still have five, so we can afford it. Okay. Is he still marked? I think so. But what does he have on him right now? Weekend is on, slowed is on, so what's marked on? Yes. Maybe do one of these. Take this. The heat is on. And this might be it. Huzzah! Wow. Just Down goes Karen. Oh, look, he's still spry. You... You think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Fools! Madmen! This means nothing! Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave, and there won't be any bad blood between us. Oh, <laughs> I will leave, all right. And return. Next time, nothing will save you. Did someone cut him down? <laughs> Just save the trouble? I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful... I mean, Gren would do it! You will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> or my dragon friend could just come here and gobble him up. <sighs> there is something, you know. Okay? No, you're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Uh, wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my, the tension is killing me. Ah, right. Let's give it to the no, debtor. I won't. This can be their employee for already, the rest of his think? life. House Lauren or otherwise. <laughs> Weakling, you're signing your death warrant. <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. 
I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. I hope the debtor is like off screen and just heard that. And he's like, oh, you're the true heir, eh? My, my, my. Ah, it's him! What an interesting turn of events. The debt is yours now, fool. Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karen Lauren? Mr. Crucy. Oh, from bad to worse. No, no, this is good. This is great. M Mr. Crucy? What are you doing here? And shouldn't that mean you have to, like, repay all of the, the things we've paid? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline, but it would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Let him talk! He's on our side for once! Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am! And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense! That man, Kay, is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant! I am the true king! I demand... I demand legitimacy! I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law! Well, you got it. Here's your debt. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. <sighs> After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and yep. remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I mean, I, I said a lot of bad things about Cruzy, but, but he might be a bald bro in the end. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, Next week? Uh, 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 what? What? But, but... Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, you, you can't! This, I, you... Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline. Are we clear? Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm. I never expected to say this, but... You're a bald bro. Thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, I saw it coming, but that was a great twist. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. Congratulations on your new property. Debt free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? 
<laughs> is it? Oh, I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment, don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. Well, there! I'm actually impressed! That was one fancy, uh... What do you call it? Uh, deuce ex machina? That's a deus ex, thank you! Anyway, what you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure, we're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed, it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail! All hail, hail King guys, K! Thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Is it? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh, well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh, I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great, <laughs> let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? That's gonna be great, Grandpa! And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy, or epic, or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life, and tales need not imitate it. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember, gleaming with pride. The bald they head of Cruzy. remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs. Ah, I really like this game. Dang, it was like a surprise hit of the year. It, it might be one of my favorite games of the year so far. Very nice. Oh, hello. Count Roderick's greatest wealth. It's gonna be a like a place of memories, right? You know, Griffith. It's funny how. Where's art collection? About this. True. I still cannot wrap my head around the fact. I also cannot imagine why apparently Karen made no use of it. Especially now, given his current situation. Huh, think it's empty? His words seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, only one way to find out. What the hell? Hmm. Is that... Are those... Well... Are those... Bottle caps? Haha! <laughs> All out reference. That's real nice. All right, so there's like a free play mode. Maybe we'll finish up the um, uh, remaining uh, personality, uh, personal bond quests. If you guys want to see that, we do have two people, three people left to uh, max out. So let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. However. That is the tale for another day. Hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share the video around to get the views up because views make the world go around. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.